I'm excited to give you this comparison review of the EcoFlow Blade and the Mamotion Luba. But before we start with this comparison review, anytime I get a robot, whether it's a vacuum or a lawnmower, they each get a name and my sons help me name these. And of course we go with the Star Wars theme. So right here, the blade is gonna be called the Mandamorian, get it? And the Luba we're gonna call C3P Mo. And just for fun, here to make a cameo appearance in this video is our original robot lawnmower, and this one we've named Lando. Now let's talk about some of the specs, okay? So the blade reigns in right around $2,900, and that's standalone. And then the Luba retails for right around $2,800. The blade tells us that it can mow up to three quarters of an acre, where with the Luba we can do one and a quarter acre. They both use RTK, which is the real-time kinematic, to communicate with the satellites, and that's how they know their exact location. I will say that the blade has LiDAR, X-Vision, even AI to help it avoid things, whereas the Luba has what's known as FOV or field of view. It also has some other push sensors to help it not run into things. Let's talk about the measurements of these two mowers. The blade is 18 inches wide, 27 inches long, and 12 and a half inches tall, and it's right around 36 pounds. Whereas the Luba is 20 inches wide, 28 inches long, and 10 inches tall, and it's 44 pounds. They both work well on an incline, whereas the blade does a 27 degree climb and the Luba has a 37 degree climb and that is an amazing slope. I will say that the Luba has a 16 inch cutting width and the blade has a 10 inch cutting width. The blade does come with free replacement blades, but guess what? Blades aside, those are cheap. The Luba is all wheel drive, which means you're not going to get stuck in some of those hills or hard to access areas. They both have pretty detailed apps, but we will talk a little bit about that more. And that's all we're gonna talk about the specs for now. Let's see how they work in the real world. Both of these require you to install an antenna free from obstruction and have a clear view of the sky. The biggest difference is the blade requires you to have the base, the charging base, with a clear view of the sky, whereas the Luba does not. And that gives you a greater opportunity to put that in a less conspicuous spot. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what it's like to toggle on the app. So it's really just going to be a picture of the app on the screen and how you control it. And then I'll show you what it looks like actually controlling your lawnmower across your perimeter. The first app we're looking at is for the blade and it has a one button touch left, right, up, down. It is pretty sensitive and the blade responds very well to the movements. And here's Luba's app. The biggest difference is there's a thumb joystick for up and down and one for left and right, but this is equally as responsive. Now for the fun part where it's like driving a remote control car, you utilize the corresponding app to have your robot go on the exterior of your property, thus putting in the wireless boundary line. And once set up properly, your robot should not cross that line. Check out these things, Mo. I will say, when these are mowing on lawns that have already been pre-cut to the designated height, they do an amazing job and are very efficient. Plus, they're a lot of fun to watch. So by nature, robotic lawnmowers are not supposed to cut your lawn. They're supposed to keep your lawn trimmed. These both actually have requirements that you have to have a minimum set where you should pre-mow your lawn. But that's boring, right? What I want to do is I want to test these lawnmowers on long grass that was not pre-mowed and maybe a little silly. Let's see how they do now. All right, we've mapped out our area on this tall grass and first we're looking at the EcoFlow blade and I can see already the biggest problem is the LiDAR detector here is detecting the tall grass and saying, nope, I'm not supposed to mow that and it does it. And sometimes just like that, it almost tipped itself over or tipped itself on the side. I've been watching this for a little while and it seems to just be going in circles and it's not really able to do a pattern. Sadly, we are just not seeing the same level of efficiency that we saw when it was mowing shorter grass. Something else I've noticed a few times, both on short grass and on tall grass, if the EcoFlow blade detects something it's just not able to do, it almost like gives up and watch what happens. Did you see that? It just abruptly stopped and shut off. And now I have to go around back and manually start this back up so it can start mowing again. Well, it was promising. We had the EcoFlow blade come down and it hit this big tuft of grass. It's also in a little trench. 
it backed up, it moved, it came back, and it just got stuck and shut off. It didn't even try to go back to the base or anything. I guess the EcoFlow blade just said no. Now we're gonna try out the lube, and I've mapped out the exact same area. And what I can see so far is it seems to be going back and forth in a uniform pattern. Is it perfect? Not by any means. There's a lot of tall grass still left here. My thoughts are it may come back and get it on a second pass through, but it at least is moving through. And you can see the benefit here of that all wheel drive. So this is cool. So just a minute ago, it got stuck on this big piece of grass. So it drove all the way down around the other side to come back to see if it can get it. Let's see, what I'm thinking has happened is the push sensor in the front is getting pushed in like it's hitting something. Otherwise, I think that would have went right through. I think we're coming to the moment of truth. Can see 3 pmo move past the spot where Amanda Morian got stuck. This is the part right here, down into the trench. Yeah, I, I do believe that's that sensor. Let's see what it does though. At least it didn't shut off. Oop, guess who's there, it's still your friend. All right, so we're coming back this way. Do a turn. I guess we're gonna try to go around it. We're gonna bump again. All right, let's try that again. Let's go wider this time. I'm probably just gonna get the blade out of here because it's not moving anyway. I think it's cool how the robot lawnmowers actually try to remap itself using the app to try to get around what it was stuck on from a different angle. That to me is pretty neat. Now for the moment of truth. Here it goes. And no, it got stuck. And in my opinion, it's all because of that push bar in the front thinking it's hitting something. In this video, we were comparing the EcoFlow blade to that of the Mamotion Luba. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. And in my opinion, these are both very expensive. I mean like silly expensive, like $3,000 for a lawnmower. You could almost get a really good zero turn for that price. The benefit of these is they are really autonomous. You can set up a schedule and let them go. And they really do keep that lawn cut all the time. And sometimes I just forget, you know what? The lawn used to grow and now it's just always short. The biggest convenience for these ones is that they're perimeter or wire free, whereas other units you had to bury a wire around. And to be honest with you, if you don't mind doing that and that's not really annoying, you can get one of these robotic lawnmowers for about half the cost. There are pros and cons to both of these, but in my opinion, and you saw in this video, man, the Motion Luba did a much better job cutting. And I think it has to do with that all wheel drive that it can just push through some of that tough grass, whereas the EcoFlow blade just didn't. They both have app issues, but that's not something I would rate one of these mowers because apps can be updated. I wanna know the actual use and how does it perform. And as you saw, the Luba did a little better. That was my full review of these two lawnmowers. If either of these are something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and hope you have a great day. Did you ever want to know what happens when you put two robot lawnmowers on the lawn at the same time? Oh, they almost hit, but that obstacle avoidance system of the blade helped out and avoided the Landroid. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review where I compared the EcoFlow blade to the Mimotion Luba. You know what? If you didn't see my original reviews of either one of these, I'm gonna link one right up here and the other right over here. And I would love it if you would click on one of these two links. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you right here or right there. So go ahead, click one. They're safe, I promise.